Becoming the Earth's Creation Yo, what's up? It's someone that's no one, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report is sent to him by Eversonic, where he took Amanita Mascara Lemon Juice Tea at 35 grams. And here's the full report details. Alright guys, welcome to another Amanita report. It's been a long, long time since we covered this substance. If I were to guess, it's been well over a year now. Maybe even two. Amino mascara is a powerful mushroom known to be somewhat toxic. It differs from shrooms in how it will impact the brain, as it isn't psilocybin based. But it's mucimal and ibotenic acid that's thought to provide a majority of the effects. Notably, they'll impact GABA instead. Which in result, the trip tends to have more depressing like effects than psychedelic ones. But really based on what we covered, and this trip here, Amanitas really do seem like their own thing with little to compare them with. But we'll break these down more in a future video. In this, Eversonic has a kind of ego death, which just shows how far these can go. It's a great report, and one I'm sure you'll enjoy. So without further ado, let's dive right into this. It was around 8.30pm one night, and I wanted to use some form of psychoactive, but I wasn't sure what to choose from my stash. I had a bunch of Amanitas that I had dried earlier in the week. Mascara Varpersicina, which I have found locally near my house. It had been a while since I had last done any, so I decided I was going to try a higher end dose and see what would happen. I scaled about 35 grams of different sized caps. I recommend doing this because caps can vary heavily in concentration despite their sizes, so it's good to use different sized caps. Then I added it, already dried, to some water mixed with lemon juice on the stove because ibotenic acid converts into mucimal more readily in the presence of an acidic pH. I heated the water until it was boiling, and then turned it down until it was a light simmer. I let it simmer for about an hour, until I ended up with a super concentrated tea. It's important to simmer for a long time, because the heat is important in full conversion, along with the citric acid of course. I went up to my room, and drank the tea. Mascara tea has a horrible taste. It's like a mixture between wet old socks, rotten tomatoes, and cardboard. By far one of the worst tasting endogens out there. After getting through the tea, I just kind of hung out watching videos until I started noticing effects. At first the effects were subtle. Mild drunkenness, but not quite like alcohol and other gabinergics like Z drugs and benzos. It feels more unique. My vision started getting very worried, and I felt a little bit nauseous. I was also sweating and salivating a lot because of the muscarin that's in mascara. The effects slowly started increasing along with the side effects. I noticed that my room was starting to become unrecognizable and it looked very distant. My surroundings felt fake and the weird visuals that started overlaying my vision seemed more real than my life had ever been. The visuals were very salvia esque. Out of everything I've tried, nothing has ever really come close to the effects of salvia. It's set, Amanitas. The effects are extremely similar, but mascara is a little different in some ways that I can't really depict easily. My vision almost looked like there was a vignette forming around it. It was grey colored, and it made it even harder to see slash recognize my surroundings. I started seeing various colors folding and twisting in ways very similar to salvia. I also had a similar body high to salvia in that it felt like my body was segments, and they were kind of moving slightly, twisting and folding, stretching back out. This feeling was pretty dysphoric, but I remember being so out of it that I didn't even really care at the time. It was around this time when the nausea kind of took hold over me and I ended up purging. I mean the mascara is extremely nauseating in high doses. I've done ayahuasca without purging, except for in high doses. So I wasn't expecting to feel this sick from I mean mascara. After throwing up, I felt much better but still had the dysphoric body high. Eventually, I ended up closing my eyes to see if there were any closed eye visuals to the experience. At first there weren't any, but after a minute or two, I started to see something that appeared to be unraveling and unfolding in again a very salvia-esque way. It paired with the unfolding and unraveling body high that I was experiencing, and pretty soon I became the object that was unraveling with my eyes closed. At this point, I had zero awareness of who I was before taking the Amanitas. Complete ego disillusion. I had always been this thing that was unraveling, and I always would be. This thought was anxiety inducing at first, because I was going to be stuck like this forever. But eventually I calmed down after it setting my fate. I don't know how to describe this, but I was witnessing this from two different perspectives. 
I wish the thing that was unraveling, but at the same time, I was watching it happen from third person view from the outside. I was unraveling vertically. I started to notice various colors the more this went on. Greens, blues, whites, browns, yellows, etc. After what seemed like an eternity, I reached the bottom of the space I was in while unfolding constantly. And the process immediately started again, but horizontally. Same colors, same feelings, etc. This happened for what felt like several lifetimes until I realized what was taking place. I was becoming the earth. I was watching the earth being created. I realized this because I was unfolding into a spear shape, and the colors resembled the colors of the earth. I started to see continents being formed, water, clouds. I was completely amazed by what I was experiencing. After the earth was formed, this is kind of where I black out. I wish that more happened, because becoming the earth was absolutely insane. But I have no memory of what happened after this. I blacked out and woke up in the morning. At first, I was shocked to be back in my own body, because I had completely forgotten that I existed. But I quickly adjusted back to being normal again. I felt extremely refreshed, calm, and energized for the entire day after the experience. Would I recommend trying a dose this high? Absolutely not. This might potentially not be safe. I recommend not trying this. However, the experience was one of the most profound hallucinogenic experiences I've ever had. I would say it was worth it. Even though I didn't really gain anything insightful as a result of this experience, it is definitely something I look back on quite fondly.